Terry Wobazinski, Business Development Manager here at Times Microwave Systems. Welcome to Real Times. This is our new bi-weekly vlog where we'll talk about industry trends, new products, ask the experts some technical questions, and pretty much talk everything coax. Our first guest today is Kevin Moyer. He's a product manager here at Times and a YouTube veteran. We're gonna to talk to you today about TCA. So Kevin, what is TCA? We've taken some real proven cable constructions that we've used in civil aviation for many years, and we've married it up with some of the, the strengths of some of our other product lines. For those of you who may be familiar with our LMR product line, the CST tools, which you know prep the cable perfectly for thousands of cuts, and the EZ connector, a non-solder pin connector. So we, we've taken these products, married them up with the uh, civil aviation cables, the TCA cables. Then we've also taken something out of our mill aero line, which is our intermediate sections and our front ends, which we call modular. Uh, we're able to take a single interface and use it on all the different cables. So it also allows for some flexibility for the installer. They don't need to put the interface on until they're, they're, they're finally ready to wrap things up. So it's, it's, it's a nice product line. We always try to think in terms of the end installer, making things easier, more consistent, and more foolproof. It's something we've always done. Um, you know, because we have so many products at times, and because we focus strictly on coaxial cable, we just have so many materials, uh, equipment and, and processes to work with where we can mix and match and uh, I think we've come up with something that that you know really is a, is a really perfect complete solution for this type of application. Well it sounds like a great solution for a company that wants to easily train their employees, reduce their inventory and you know have the right product on hand when they might need it not have outages or shortages. Yeah I think it is and um, Actually, we'd like to take the opportunity to introduce a, a, a kit. Ooh, is that what you have over there? Yeah, we, we have something. And, and you know, right now there's some challenges um, in terms of getting out in front of uh, you know, trade shows and things. And it's nice to be able to put your hands on actual product. So what we've done here, here's our TCA cables. And these cables actually have what we call the cable entries on them. You could terminate these outside the aircraft. You don't have to worry about FOD, do all that work outside the aircraft. You can do it before you even know what the interface needs to be. And then we have all these different front ends that can be screwed onto the cables. But maybe before we even talk about those intermediate or those front ends, we should mention our pulling nose. This pulling is something. Nose. Yeah, it's a little plastic piece. It's got a it threads right onto the cable entry. You can take one of these uh, cables that has a cable entry on it. The pulley nose just screws right onto the uh, cable entry. It's got a little hole through it, and you attach your, your pulling string, and you can snake this right through the fuselage of the aircraft. Once you, you're done, you take that pulley nose off, and whatever type of interface you think you need there, in this case, it's an SMA that just threads right on. And there we have a special spanner wrench and you have wrench flats and you just tighten that right up and you're good to go. If you want to put a TNC on there or an N, we also have a right angle joint that we can build. And let's, we'll just demonstrate that right here. We'll take our right angle joint, thread that onto the cable entry and our SMA. And of course, we'd have to you know, use spanner wrenches and a wrench to tighten that up properly but now you have a right angle SMA. So it's like a little erector set. You can build whatever you want and you can, like I said, you can snake the, uh, the, the cables through the aircraft before you actually have to make those decisions. So the technicians aren't standing on a ladder upside down with a razor blade trying to terminate these cables that took them forever to fish through the aircraft. Exactly. And then if they need to extend it, they can add on to it to whatever degree angle they need or connector they might need at the end. Yes, that's that, wow. that's that's it. You know, we just like I said, we try to make things as simple, consistent, and foolproof as possible. Uh, the, these modular connectors also happen to be bimetal plated, excellent corrosion resistance. Oh, that's great. Uh, excellent VSWR performance through eight gigahertz. As we mentioned, you know, when you actually do terminate the cable, there's no braid trimming required, so you know, minimal amount of FOD. The tools 
that are used to prep these cables have been tested over 2,000 cuts. So it's really a complete solution. What happens if there's a maintenance and they need to try to go in and check if one of the connectors isn't working later on after the aircraft's been in the air for a while? Is there a way to actually you know, re-terminate or re-change out the connector on there? Yes, there is. I mean, these, these, that's one of the beauties about this product line is you can always remove that interface, you know, oh. using the proper spanner wrench and wrench, and you can, you can replace that with another interface or the same interface. You can, you can do testing on the cable. Oh, that's great. Sure. Well, thank you, Kevin, for explaining TCA and showing us your new kit. Real Times is the place to meet the experts, find out the latest industry trends, and keep up with cutting RF technology, as well as learning more about Times Microwave Systems. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you click the bell below, you'll get updates on our new episodes. And if you have a question, you can leave it below, or you can email us at realtimes at timesmicro.com. That's R-E-E-L. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it and share. And finally, until next time, stay healthy, and thanks for watching.